Hey guys, this is Rodeska coming to you with a tutorial for making sci-fi armor inside of Marmel, uh, Mar Marmoset, uh, Marvelous Designer, and this is going to be going over using the line tool and then exporting that back into ZBrush after you have retopped it inside of uh, Marvelous Designer. Now this is going to be using the newest version of Marvelous Designer 9. Uh, along with ZBrush 2020 and I will be using the GoZ add-on as well for Marvelous Designer. If you do not know how to install GoZ, um, I will leave a link uh, as you know for a tutorial on how to do that as well. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is obviously you want to have your avatar imported already with the scale matching and this is easily done by going inside of ZBrush and matching the scale of your avatar with your avatar that you're going to be using for Marvelous Designer and all I did was basically just import it um, using GoZ once and then scaled it according to the scale inside of Marvelous and then just um, reopened Marvelous Designer um, and all of the scales matched. So basically all I did was just use the gizmo, scaled it down, um, made sure all of my meshes were at high poly so that way I don't get any weird sculpting issues um, and then um, yeah, matched it with the clothing uh, inside of Marvelous Designer that you get when you first open up Marvelous Designer. All right, so inside of uh, Marvelous Designer, what we're going to do is we're going to use the this uh, tool called the Line Tool. Now, what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to draw on the avatar. Um, this is really good for um, making patterns and then. Um, or sketching out patterns and then converting the sketch over into a pattern and then you know getting a little bit more accuracy with your um, with your patterns if you don't know how to like make a shirt or whatever this is really good for making shirts and making um, shorts and things like that um, and also measuring um, uh, you could do a lot with this so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw some shapes um, to get us started so we're just going to draw some really basic shapes but you might want to plan this out as to how you're going to do it um, so I'm just going to draw like some really really basic kind of shapes um, and you can see that it's going to uh, match the geometry quite well um, and I'm also going to say this that I did not come up with this um, this method uh, in terms of using this tool I absolutely had no idea that this tool was even a thing until a couple of days ago so uh, I want to thank uh, Evening Cicada for that, and I'll leave a link as to how you can get to his stream um, down below as well. Uh, so he uh, he helped me um, figure this out because I actually had no idea. I had no idea that this was even a thing. Um, but I did come up with the uh, making the armor bits. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw that pattern out using our line tool. Um, and you can see what's really cool is that you can see the, the, um, the measurements and all that, but we don't really need that. Um, so now what we're going to do is, obviously what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of these uh, materials that you get at first. And this is going to be our armor material. And I've already gone and I've already added a thickness of 7, but you can add whatever thickness. And also make sure you're using, um, also make sure you're using your, uh, how come it's not, I might have actually, did I, did I break it? Hmm. Let's see, alt, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. I don't know why it's doing that, but I think it's just because we don't have a mesh, but I set mine to thickness. Um, and if you want, you can also change the, uh, to, to wireframe in just a second. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over after selecting the flatten tool I'm going to hover over my pattern and I'm going to hit enter and that's going to create a pattern and since we have already uh, thickness added to our material and not to the actual pattern itself you can see that now we can actually get kind of like a preview as to what our thickness is going to look like um, and the cool thing about this is that you can continue to draw um, because this is going to this is going to stay as a pattern and if you actually um, move this so if we actually go up here and we move this you can see that the pattern is going to stay underneath there so if you don't really like this you can always go back and you can always edit it later on um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to make another pattern right and this is going to be quite quick so we're just going to kind of make a pattern maybe along her arm right here and keep it fairly close to the other the other one and it does take some practice to get used to uh, where you need to draw 
these at. I was actually practicing this a couple of days now. And the cool thing about this is that you can also go up here to this little edit tool and you can also edit the position of these and it's going to stay onto the avatar. It's going to suck onto the avatar, which is very nice. So we can sit here and we can say, well, I don't really like the position of these. So I can sit here and I can do this. And you can also right click on these and delete the point and you can see that it's going to add um, straight lines through there and maybe I want this to be just a little bit more further up and you can see how it's curving to the the um, the mesh as we move it up here and let's say we want to move this a little bit further back and we're just planning this out accordingly now this isn't the actual final mesh that we're going to be importing the actual final mesh is going to be a retopped mesh um, with inside of here so what we're going to do is we're going to now go here and we're going to say flatten that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and it's going to tell you to press enter. So you're going to click on this and then you're going to press enter after you've clicked on it to uh, turn it into a actual um, pattern as you can see up here. Now it's going to turn it into a pattern. Um, we're not going to simulate this because we don't need simulation. Uh, however, if you wanted to have like... Um, uh, wrinkles and stuff like that I highly suggest just going in and sculpting that inside of uh, ZBrush with some maybe some wrinkle brushes or something like that but if you wanted to you could simulate this but honestly it's not going to do a very good job in my opinion of uh, simulating but you're more than welcome to um, he also told me that you can also deactivate these patterns if you have anything else um, like let's say you wanted to make cloth with these you can also go in and you can deactivate these by going to deactivate and they will not simulate so they will stay like this um, and that's pretty good because if you wanted to have like maybe clothing over this and make um, make a thin cloth over this and make it look like the armor is protruding through that you could totally do that and it would be uh, pretty cool um, so yeah so now that we have these actual pattern pieces right here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to now retop these. So we're going to go over here and we're going to extend this. Uh, my display isn't very big on my tablet. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and we're just going to start to retop this. So it's just as easy as, you know, just retopping it, um, making sure that we have enough uh, segments in here. Um, so we're going to control shift and we're just going to add a segment through here and making sure again that we have enough uh, segments. Um, control shift, we're going to add some segments through here. Oops, didn't want to do that. Add some segments through here. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually going to replace everything that we've done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to edit this, maybe put this a little bit further down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just keep going with this. And you can make a uh, triangle if you want. I'm actually just going to turn that into a quad. And boom there we go so now we have our topology not not the greatest topology but it works because all we need it to do is we just need it to look pretty decent so I'm just gonna straighten these up a little bit more maybe add just a little bit more curvature to this and one of the things that I like about the marvelous designer topology is that it sticks inside of the pattern it stays within the pattern so I don't have to worry about it going outside the pattern um, and if you want to retop uh, this one you co you totally can I'm not gonna retop this one because I only need one of these for the demonstration so we're gonna actually uh, delete this piece because we don't really need it um, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete that and we're also if you want to delete these lines you totally can you can just click on this uh, edit line tool and you can just double click and then hit delete and uh, that's going to delete your lines. Um, make sure you don't uh, delete anything that you, you still want. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our edit tool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to right click on this and say remesh duplicate or remesh and replace. If you're still using this, I highly suggest doing a duplicate. But we're going to hit replace. And what that's going to do is it's going to replace our uh, mesh with the with the actual final piece. Now it doesn't look like we did anything simply because um, it's taking that geometry and it's uh, it's it's replacing it and it doesn't again it doesn't look like it's done anything but uh, if you actually go over here to your wireframe it has uh, replaced that piece as you can see with our new remesh piece. Now what we can do is we can go to export settings of our ZBrush and we can say um, weld if we want thick 
Uh, we can add thickness if we want. We're just going to say thin because we're going to add all of that thickness and all of that stuff inside of ZBrush. And then we're just going to hit OK and we're going to go to run Go Z in our ZBrush. And that's going to send our armor piece back over to ZBrush. And now we can actually um, work on this piece individually. It's a lot quicker to do it this way than it is to uh, do it the, um, the other way which is pretty crazy because honestly I thought that the other way was pretty pretty easy but this is actually pretty fun pretty easy and I can sit there and I can sketch out uh, armor pieces um, however I need to um, there we go right there so making sure we have that piece in the right location um, let's turn off a couple of these objects just so you can see and now we have that piece in the right location. It has perfect topology that we can use. And there you go. That is how you make armor pieces within Marvelous Designer and bring them over to ZBrush for fast armor plating. All right. So I hope this has helped you guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. If this has helped you, please leave a like. Please share it. If you think it's going to help somebody else, please comment if you have any questions. And if you want to see any other tutorials in the future, please let me know because I'm going to be uh, heavy this year on some uh, things that I've learned over the last year. So thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have an amazing day.